Hey my dear empaths and highly sensitive people, welcome to my new video here on YouTube. This video is about creating happiness and of course happiness always begins with you, not with anybody else. It does not come from external sources. It is always something that you need to look inward to. So I'm just going to tell you three ways to be happy today. And I hope that you will practice this method every single day in your life, especially if you are right now recovering from emotional abuse by a narcissist. It is very important to start creating that happiness and balance and inner peace within you that you likely have not had in a long time. Uh, depending how long you have been under that abuse. So I'm really happy if you are out of that right now. Uh, if you're not yet, um, I'm sure that you know that I'm here to help you. So if you want guidance, support, help, understanding with your situation, don't hesitate to contact me or book my free consultation call or book a coaching session with me. So we will start to work on your situation. But yeah, so three ways to be happy today. So first of all, you need to stop searching, okay? Uh, for example... Have this as a morning routine that if you can meditate or take a walk, for example, outside or, you know, do something that feels comfortable and nice and relaxing to you that you just want to do, have it, have this daily habit, you know. So <clears throat> um, in, in that habit, just be present with yourself, be present in the situation as you are doing this, whatever you're doing, you know, whether it is the walk or, or a meditation or, you know, whatever gives you a lovely feeling first thing in the morning, you know. So practice that every single morning and, you know, know that it is your right, your birthright to be happy, you know, stop searching, be present listen to your body this is all about the first step here uh, <clears throat> because happiness does not come with searching it comes with just living just by being in the present moment okay and this helps you feel more relaxed and um, more stress-free so if you are under some stress this will also help you release that stress you know and, and it will help you really listen to your intuition, your body, your soul, your heart, your spirit within. So just be present, stop searching, okay? And also you want to be grat uh, grateful. You, you want to be feeling gratitude as you're doing this as well. So, for example, take five minutes in the morning as you wake up. You know, say to yourself, I love you. I'm grateful for today. I'm grateful for life. I'm grateful to be alive, to have this new day, uh, new opportunities, new ideas, new inspirations today. I'm so glad. I'm so happy. You can use this, for example, and you can say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, universe. Thank you, God. Thank you, angels. Thank you. And you can say thank you to yourself as well. So this is just an example. Of course, you can create your own affirmations, mantras, you know, create your own ways. But this is just an example for you. But anyway, this is the first step. Uh, second step is look within and see with love. See through your heart, your soul, your higher self. See the world and yourself through your heart. How amazing you are. How fantastic you are really, you are a beacon of light in the world. And that is what you are supposed to be here, you know, to live happy, healthy and holy and safe, to be living a truly fulfilled life, you know, loving yourself truly, honoring your, your truth, you know, being authentically you, being honestly you. So look 
uh, through, <laughs> basically look through your heart is this method. Because there are two ways how you can observe the world and yourself. It is with your eyes, <clears throat> sorry, it is with your eyes or with your heart. And, and step two is about the heart, you know, your soul, your spirit. Okay, because you are that amazing, amazing, loving being. Okay, so embrace that and see yourself through kind eyes. See the world through kindness, through kind eyes with your heart center. Um, and then we have third step. Listen to yourself. <clears throat> you know more... Then you might think you know more about yourself and about your life than you even might realize. You know, you might be full of stress right now. Your mind could be very clouded, especially if you have been under that abuse or you still are. Your mind can be so clouded that you don't see things uh, clearly. Uh, so listen to yourself. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your body, okay? Listen to your heart, your soul, your higher self, because they tell you the truth. Don't listen to your ego. It will only take you further away the path that you don't want to be on. Okay, you don't want negative energy into your life. I'm sure that you have had just <laughs> way too much of that already. So listen to yourself. Okay, listen, listen, listen. And this also involves the first step, you know, for example, if you're meditating, you are listening to yourself at the same time as you are present with yourself. And you can ask yourself in the morning, what would make me happy today? What should I do today? Dear universe, who should I talk to today? Who should I go meet today? What should I do today? What should I create today? You can ask these sort of questions out loud or in your mind, in a meditation or in a prayer, you know, or just as you wake up, you know, as you're sitting by your bed, you can ask these questions in your mind or out loud and just open up to receive the answers and the signs. So you will see that there is so much happiness so much joy, so much potential within you. They always were there and they never left. So take your power back, create your happiness. Do these steps, have these healthy daily habits every single day. So there we have, there we have the three, three steps. Stop searching, look with your heart and listen to yourself, listen to your body. Okay. Thank you guys for being here and watching my video again. Don't, don't forget to subscribe and maybe even hit the bell so that you get a notification every time I post a video or upload a video because uh, I'm going to be doing this more now. So thanks, thanks, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I cannot talk today. Thanks, thanks, thanks <laughs> uh, for being here and following my work and feel free to comment or ask questions as usual. And um, hit me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you. Namaste.